common theme with with all of this is just to get started. I mean, I I know there, there's always a lot of questions and um, to even just about doing things like this of, okay, do I, how do I go live and kind of update families? I mean, communication is so important right now with your families. And yeah. um, as different states are kind of rolling out the plans for elementary schools and middle school and high school, I mean, I think that um, is going to dictate kind of the pivots or kind of how things are going to go for a lot of centers over the next yeah. three to six yeah. months. I mean, and either in a great way um, or we're going to have to be a, be a little bit more creative and yeah. kind of look outside the box. And the creativity is there, you know, I mean, the universe is an abundant play. So don't give up on your dream just because one model of it doesn't work or is no longer applicable. I mean, there's all different kinds of facets for you to project your dream into the world. So be open and be creative with it. And that's how you're going to really, I think, expand in your life. I think it's when we get too sold or too fixated on how the thing has to happen that we could get really disappointed or let down. But, you know, just open up your creative world and say, okay, this is my passion. This is what I love. How many different ways can this, this come to life? And that's what I love thinking about because, you know, I, I really see it as a changing, evolving picture too. I don't see it just because now this is the way it is. In a month, it might be totally different. You know, for example, we just had the new story of the Georgia school who went back and like now they're saying like over 200 people are home quarantined because okay. they got COVID. So, you know, who knows? It's an evolving, growing world. But just know, you know, the, the passion that's in your heart and know that you're going to bring it to life and it's going to really serve your life in a big way. And that's the beauty of the world that we live in is that there's so many ways to make our dreams a reality. Oh, and, and that's, I mean, I, and I love that you're saying that. And I, I think there's a, a lot of, a lot of center owners there. You're still kind of, kind of pigeonholing yourself a little bit of um, trying to think of the word I'm looking for, like expectations. So like things have always been this way. Like we, either we've always had a wait list. We've never had to do marketing or um, even when families have disenrolled, they've always came back. And so it, it's definitely, a great time to self-reflect yeah, and to kind of realign yourself with your, your business and to make sure that you're in it for the right reasons and, and to make sure that it, you've got the, the passion still. And the reason that I'm suggesting that is because if you don't have that fire, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be tough the next three months, six months, nine months. I mean, I, I'm having, so I, we do, we call them either discovery calls, intro calls, whatever phrase you like to use. And it's like a, get to know you and, and we call it kind of let's see if you're a fit call and the calls either go one of a couple of different ways so one of the types of calls is michael i mean we're like dying here so i just got off the phone with a a, a franchise brand this afternoon um, i won't name the brand but she's like we've got what'd she say 25 current enrollments um capacity for 130 but break even is at 80. And so she's like, my loans are running out and all, all these things. And, and I took a step back and I said, okay, um, so what, what's the vision? Like, mm -hmm. are you in this for, is it a money play? Is it a, you want to help families and kids? Like to, to kind of go back to that route because her situation, it, it's not going to magically change overnight. You're not just going to magically get 60 enrollments. I mean, I, I know you've done some unique exercises where you've manifested <laughs> enrollments and things. So I'm not saying it can't happen, um, <laughs> but, um, but when she kind of started going through all the reasons of why it won't happen, like I, I it's, it's a tough sell. And, and um, if you have that, that vision, that compelling vision that, that we've often talked about, that's going to help set everything else up. I mean, that's going to help allow you to kind of pivot because when you're in a, it's the same thing that's happened to me. If I'm so pigeonholed in something that's going on, like you kind of have your blinders on a little bit and like, you can't, can't see. So like when we, mm -hmm. so like we, you and I both serve childcare centers pretty much exclusively. And when all these centers started pausing and closing, like I had my blinders on, I'm like, well, all that we do is drive revenue. Well, we then had to pivot because I started looking at how can we better serve other mm -hmm. families. So, um, I mean, I'd encourage you, as you said, Julie, to kind of 
take a step back and maybe each morning spend five or 10 minutes reflecting on your, your vision. Uh, I call it that painted picture document and just mm. kind of reading it because I found like when I close my eyes and I start visualizing it, that's when things just start coming like random ideas. Yeah. Um, we've got an acquisition that I'm looking at that kind of manifested um, something really? that, I, that I've had um, and it's nowhere near final yet. It's kind of in the starting phases, but it like, came out from nowhere and it's in alignment and it's just like part of the plan and you've nice. got to be, gotta be willing to to adapt and um adapt and change and pivot but if you have yeah. that vision that that's the secret sauce <laughs>